All right, guys, coming back at you again with another video. We are out here with Max again, who was the guy with the Cat 246D. And now we're gonna be playing around on this 908H-2. Neither of us have run this machine for much time at all, so can't really do much of an informational review on it. It's gonna be more so of just kind of playing around and taking a look at it. Um, guess we can put a few thoughts in here at the end of the day of what we think. We're just over here and we're gonna be pushing some snow piles back. Um, not totally necessary to do more so, just gonna keep everything looking tidy and to make a little bit of a video here and play around on this. As you guys know, we've been talking about getting a new machine, updating the uh, new Holland skid loader, and I've been thinking to myself sometimes after multiple people have mentioned in comments that we should look at a wheel loader or something like that. So here we are taking a look at this thing here. This is the, the uh, serial number and everything here. It looks like it doesn't have a weight on it or anything. Um, if you guys want more information on this machine, I'm going to link Kat's website um, of the description and specs on this machine in the description below, so if you want to check that out. Like I said, I've personally never driven this. Max has operated this a few times, so we're not super familiar with this machine, how it operates things like that but we're just gonna be playing around and bringing you guys along for the ride seeing what we think seeing if this thing could be useful on some of our plow sites for next season so let's go ahead and hop right into this thing uh, I didn't see the float button in there off the top of my head if someone has run one of these before and they know how to run the float on it please let us know in the comments here if we don't find her by the end of the day also if you guys have uh, run one of these machines these 908s or you have, uh, yeah, that is really icy there, isn't it? Or if you've had, yeah, if you've had any experience uh, running a front end loader like this, love to hear your input down below. Kind of wonder if this is something we'd want to invest in. Yeah, this is a solid ice chunk here, but like I said, whatever, just kind of playing around. Getting a feel for a wheel loader here for the first time, so. Alright, so inside the machine, sitting next to Max here. Yeah, she's like straight ice. It's just so stiff. Yeah. You can't really do much with it. She is solid. Definitely got really good view in here, though. Really good viewing angles, a lot of glass like that. Definitely nice to have when you're operating this around a hundred hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment throughout the day of people's cars and stuff like that in parking lots. Visibility is key. So this is the first time you've run this Max on? Uh, I've I've ran it a couple times, not nothing extensive. Nothing too serious though, just moving it around and whatnot.
loop de loops loop de loop de loops this is really a hard skill to master um, as an operator um, in America we call them circles I call them something else um, yeah this takes years years and years Uh, Alright, so the first thing I noticed in probably the 10 minutes of running it that I did, the first time I've ever drove in a wheel loader is on that machine, I don't know where the float is, there's a button on the top of the controller, I'd hit that, that's what I'd imagine the float would be, however it didn't work as a float, I tried playing around with a few of the switches to get that to work, couldn't figure that out. Um, also, want to know if there's a way to adjust the throttle up and down without it being on just the foot. Uh, that was the other thing because the hydraulics would be slow going up if you weren't revving it up. So it'd be nice to have the throttle to be able to have that revved up all the way. And then just have the speed, you know, on a hydrostatic like on a uh, John Deere tractor per se. Something of that nature. So, two things. There's probably some way to adjust that. I just don't know how to do it. If you guys know how to do something like that or you've run one of these and you know what I'm talking about, comment down below and let me know how to do that so other people and I as well can know how to do that. Um, Initial impressions, I guess. Pretty good machine. It's got really good visibility out of it. Um, the four-wheel drive, which it had a dip locker. Then again, I could just be missing it in there. Um, if it does have one, let us know in the comments. And I did notice when I got it up to its top speed, which is around 20 according to the speedometer on it, it really started to bounce back and forth, especially when I started to slow down. Looks like it didn't have enough weight on the back. That front end was, had a lot of weight on it, just with that bucket on it. So I'd imagine when they put the 14 foot or 16 foot plow on it, whatever it is, it's a lot more weight on there. So I'd imagine going faster is going to be a lot more unstable. Um, so a counterweight system for it would be good. Um, yeah, other than that, it seems like a pretty good machine for the 10 minutes I ran it. So we're going to watch Max play around on it a little bit more here. And yeah, let us know what you guys think of this machine. If you like it, just from a little bit here, or if you've ran one before or ran a wheel loader, what do you guys like for wheel loaders? If you've seen the other videos we got, you know we've got a new Holland LS180 that we're looking to upgrade. Some people were saying to get a wheel loader like this one, so we're thinking about maybe doing something like that. Uh, turning radius on this was really good, as you saw in the clip before. Uh, it's got a really tight turning radius, so I think it could be used in the townhomes that we plow. If you guys haven't seen any of those videos, go down in the uh, down in the description or whatever. We'll have a few links to those videos as well. So. Yeah, we'll just watch him finish up later. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. As always, if you liked it, hit that like button and then hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. We've got a few other videos doing some machine demos, things like that. Max, as always. Anytime. Thank you very much, man. Have a good one.